done so this is going to be a pantry organized with me you can see this is the before over the Christmas break it had just got so out of hand got so messy we got quite a lot of food and chocolate and sweets and that kind of thing for gifts so we would kind of just shoved it in there and then at the bottom we'd had the ice machine out to make ice for our drinks there's the rice cooker there's the rice cooker my mum got me and then there's also some bags of clothes that we needed to take to the clothes bank before Christmas but we never got round to it so it's just a bit of a mess so I'm tackling the bottom first I unpackaged my rice cooker and put it in my kitchen drawer here as you can see and now me and Roma are just tidying up the clothes and we're actually going to put those in the car ready to take to the clothes bank so then it's just done for me it's in the car out of the way then i'm going to pull everything out sweep and mop the floor and then just put it away a bit more organized on that sort of floor bottom shelf moving on to the next shelf I have so many Nespresso pods that need to be collected and recycled and then I'm just sort of faffing around sorting out where I want to put things um, yeah sorting out the cans and then I used this fridge organizer but it was a bit yucky so I just gave it a little wipe out a little anti back and a clean and I'm actually going to use that for the kids snacks I thought it would work better because it's see-through they can actually see if I sort of line things up they can see what snacks are available rather than the big white tub where everything is just kind of thrown in and not really organized so I really like how this looks it was quite satisfying having everything sort of laid out like this <laughs> moving on to the top shelves and the little window sill. this basket I've just taken out is actually our Christmas Eve basket that is still there and then I've got this empty Cadbury tin so I'm gonna unpackage all of the chocolate that we got for Christmas and I hope that it all fits into this tin there is chocolate just chucked on all of the shelves so I have to go around and find it I'm opening up selection boxes that the girls haven't eaten as well we've got so much chocolate still left over you'll see this tin was full to the brim and so heavy so now that is our chocolate tin <laughs> Thank you. 
and then I'm just decanting all of the sweets into one tub as well we got a couple of tubs as like joint family presents from neighbors and grandparents and people like that so I'm just putting them all into one tub so that is the sweet and chocolates more like condensed into their little tins now moving on to the baking stuff I had these two baskets of like baking extras and it would easily condense into one and then I also had about four or five different half packs of cupcake cases so I put those all into one and then I thought I would actually use one of the empty ones to put all the icing pens and everything in just to make it look a little bit more organized than again just being chucked in the bottom of the basket and it really worked well and I didn't have to throw away the plastic pot so that was a bonus. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. found more chocolate I found these tubes of pink Smarties the girls got two of these each I think so we are just putting those into jars and I think we'll keep these until maybe Easter springtime and then we'll make some cookies and put the Smarties in that's a good way to use them up we always try and use our chocolate up by baking now I'm just opening some coffee syrups and I've got a little basket to put those in my four-year-old really wanted to do this and line them all up and she did a great job it looks very tidy now Now onto the top shelf I had lots of packets of flour and I ran out of jars so I just wanted to tidy them up put them in a basket so they didn't look so untidy on the shelf and now I'm just moving the jars around honestly it took me ages to decide like where I wanted to put things so I'm just reshuffling everything then the basket was too big to go on the top I felt like it stuck out too much so I changed it into a smaller basket and yeah I'm just faffing around sometimes it's just trial and error to see what fits where and to get it into like a good system that you enjoy but I got there in the end and I think it looks so much better And then I thought I would switch up where the tins are kept as well. So I'm taking them off this shelf and I'm actually putting them straight in front of you on the middle shelf and lining them all up. I think I can see easier this way what we've got and what we need when I do my meal plan or my grocery shop. It was quite hard to see them all on that shelf and it all got cluttered and they just all got mixed up. So I'm going to try it this way and see how it goes. And then I have got a few other random jars that didn't really fit into any category there. And and then I've just lined up all of these sauces that we got for Christmas. This was a set Warren got for cooking and it's really satisfying actually seeing them all lined up. And then the last thing, I actually replaced the batteries in the light. So this light has been on the ceiling of the pantry since we moved in, but it never had any batteries in it. So now it comes on when you open the door, it's like sensor operated. I do think I need a few more because it's not that bright in there, especially in the darker months now that we're into like the winter. But yeah overall I'm really happy it looks much more organized it looks quite satisfying with everything lined up now and I can see a lot clearer what we have got and hopefully I can stick to budgeting and meal planning a lot better because I can actually see what we need to use up and not keep buying the same thing as you can see I have done with baked beans and also tea bags I bought two lots of tea bags this week because I didn't realize we had a box in there because it was so messy so that was my motivation to just tidy it up it was just doing my head in so I hope you enjoyed this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not already for my next video and I'll see you then bye